Stephanie and I'm Kira and we're two out of the three NPM support team. Stephanie, Kira, and Ernie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mixing up my cartoon references, please no one correct me on that. If there's one thing you get out of the talk today, it's that we exist and we're here to help you. I've talked to a few people today and apparently it's not very well known that we exist, so here we are. There you go. <laughs> So, All right. the, uh... so we're here to talk a little bit about text. Oh, wait, go back. Oh. Okay. So we actually can't see the slides on my computer, which is fun. So if I glance back, it's to remind myself where we are in the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we are the tech support team at NPM. And um, we've all been doing customer tech support for a various number of years. Um, and one of our main job, of course, is to help NPM users understand NPM better, use our tools more efficiently, answer questions about all sorts of things. And it can be a real challenge at times because as a team, we don't know everything about NPM. Um, as a support team, we don't know everything, but we have an awesome backup of everybody else in the company who is there to support us when we need assistance with deeper issues. Yeah, so here we're not making fun of Homer Simpson to start, press any key. He's having a challenging user experience, and it could be better, and that's where we come in. So um, we have a lot of feelings about obvious questions, so if you email us, there are no silly questions. Sometimes it seems like someone get, we get back to someone and they're like, oh, I should have known that, but that's why we're here. Exactly, and it's very rewarding to help solve problems, so we enjoy our jobs. How about I look at the slides and you? Totally, okay. <laughs> so how can you get in touch with NPM support? We have emails. Twitter. We have the GitHub repos. And video calls for our enterprise and organization customers. So in this situation, Homer should definitely contact NPM support because his nuclear power plant is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not our fault. Yes. <laughs> So those are a lot of options, and sometimes it might be confusing. And if you're already confused, you know, just, just keep it simple. Email us. Um, you know, you don't have to go through that horrible, horrible freedom of choice, uh, wondering where to go. And sometimes technical support, you know, we have had negative experiences with it. Perhaps you're, you're thinking about your last negative experience with some other team, not us. Um, <laughs> and you're trying to avoid contacting support in general. So if that's We want to hear from you a little bit. Yeah. What, what do you do when you need help with NPM? Anyone want to call some, something out? Don't be shy. Google. Google, yeah. Google's great. Google's great. You might, uh, you might at mention Lori on Twitter and ask, ask Lori. <laughs> Maybe around midnight. Um, that's not a recommendation. That's just an observation. <laughs> what we're trying to do with this presentation is make more work for ourselves, which is encourage you to contact us. <laughs> exactly. So like I said, if all of that is kind of too much, just email us, support at npmjs.com. Uh, we'll be there to get back to you as soon as we possibly can. During Pacific time. Working hours. Yes. Monday to Friday. Not unreasonable hours, as Isaac mentioned. <laughs> Work-life balance, it's good. Do our links show up well? So, um, if you are really interested in trying to solve your own problems, we have a couple suggested resources. And you might see a lot of errors, you know, different errors come up sometimes using NPM. If you're noticing in the CLI you hit a 500-ish error, um, it's quite possible that something's going on with the registry, so you might check the registry uh, issue tracker to see if that has already been reported. Maybe somebody has already found the solution. That would be really handy, and then you can totally avoid running into the support email land if that's what you want to do. Another issue that might come up is um, our website doing something unexpected. So maybe you found a bug, maybe you're having trouble logging into NPM, um, and you want to give us feedback. So either
let's see, we report that on the registry or on the website issue tracker too. So that's something you might not know about. You can always tweet us at any time as well. We're pretty fast at responding, especially Lori. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Actually, Lori. Lori responds to the support Twitter sometimes faster than we do, which is cool. So if you get anything, yeah, tweet us all the time. <laughs> so maybe you're seeing 400 errors on the CLI, and the error screen encourages you to file an issue. But as you probably know, there are many issues there, and you can search, search for what you need to find, and you'll get lots of help from the community there. Um, sometimes you might notice that all of your builds are on fire, um, hopefully not too often, but if that occurs and you think mm, maybe there's an outage in your region, um, you can check our status page. Hopefully we'll have already captured what's going on and have an update for you there. Um, the team is working really hard to catch those really, really fast, so hopefully there will be a message there. If not, please let us know. We want to hear from you and catch it as soon as possible. If you have a question about how to use NPM, maybe you're publishing your first module. What? <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> or you're an experienced, you know, you are an experienced developer publishing your first module. And, or you're finding new and interesting ways to use NPM. We also encourage people to tweet at Ashley about documentation questions. She totally gave us permission to say that. Yeah. <laughs> And she's great, she's very responsive, we love her. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention one thing there. So you all already have the NPM Camp socks, I hope, right? Is that right? Yes? Yeah. yeah. But if Yay! you want the classic red wombat socks, if you submit a pull request on our documentation, Emily will send you socks. Yeah. Socks for docs. Classic version. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go back one oh, second. Sorry. So another common request we get is assistance for actually using a specific package. Um, that's not actually our area of expertise, it turns out, because there are thousands and thousands of packages out there that we don't actually know how to use. So in that case, if you're looking for help there, we're, we're going to re recommend you respond, you send an email to the author of the package. Um, if there's lots of authors, you might go to their issue tracker and submit an issue there. Um, I'm also going to encourage you because it's not usually, the author is not usually getting paid to support their package most likely. I mean, we get paid to do our work and we'll like respond to you about NPM stuff within a really reasonable amount of time. Our entire job is to actually answer your emails and tweets. Yeah, so we're getting paid to, for that, that's great. But these authors probably aren't. So we'd encourage you to have patience and compassion when you're trying to communicate with them, um, asking for help. You know, it takes a lot of time and energy. So keeping that in mind, it's good. And last but not least. Oh, yes. Not sure what to do. Um, at the end of the day, if all of this was just too confusing again, um, just send us an email. We will respond to you. We'll get you connected with the resources you need. Um, we, want you, we want you to be successful. If we don't have the answer, we'll do our best to find it for you. And sometimes the answers are not really, you know, they're not easy, might not be straightforward. But our goal is to help keep you moving forward, not backwards. Upward, not forward. And, and always, always twirling, 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 twirling <laughs> towards freedom. freedom. We find that particular Simpsons reference very relevant. Yeah. In... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Last but not least, if you want to remember any of the stuff we've said, maybe you were asleep by this time in the afternoon. Um, we're going to tweet out our, our link to our presentation on the hashtag very soon. All right. Thank you very much. Woo!